We have to have a presentation of the gospel, but we also have to have presence of Almighty God working with us. Hey, my name is Luke Garrity, and welcome to the uh, latest episode of Wednesdays with Wimber. I am sitting down with Eddie Espinosa. Super, super honored to sit down with you. Um, you've been uh, a lead worshiper, a worship teacher. You've been a teaching pastor. You've been a counselor. You've written articles. You've written songs. One of my favorite all-time worship songs, I, I can't even listen to it because I will cry. <laughs> it's changed my heart, oh God. Uh, I still cry. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's such a good song. A good song. Um, but yeah, we're going to sit down and spend a little time talking about Wimber and and maybe your your thoughts on modern worship and ancient worship and all those things. So I, you know, I think there's a number of people out there that might not, maybe not know you or not know the songs you've written because they've sang them, but they don't always know who writes them. So give us a snapshot of your life. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was born. No. <laughs> <laughs> gosh, where do I start? I mean, I mean uh, with, with, with uh, you know, I came to know the Lord. I was raised, raised Catholic. And and then uh, uh, got saved in a in a uh, charismatic church, you know. With it was the Revival Fellowship mm. or Living Waters, you yep. know. So yeah. so that was my first introduction to worship. Uh, I saw Andre Crouch leading worship at um, at Melody Land. Oh, okay. I was a I was a sophomore. Uh, it was between my sophomore and 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 uh, junior year of high school. And I saw him leading worship and the Holy Spirit. It was the day after I got saved. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, they said, hey, let's go on Monday nights. It was a, a Dave Wilkerson youth rally. Oh, okay. Andre Crouch was playing. And and I just, the Holy Spirit came on me and I wept and wept and wept and wept and wept. And it was just like, uh, and, and I felt this, you're going to be doing this. This is what I called you for. And that was it was like mind blowing, mm. you know. And so and so that was that was a big influence. Mm. Did you on, did you already play a musical instrument? I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Beatles were on the Ed Sullivan show, I gave up the accordion. Yeah, because <laughs> you know that could be that could have been pretty uh, pretty like well, groundbreaking to lead worship with an accordion. Though. Well, it, it works. It works. Uh, in the open air and in, in, in you know in you know on the mission field or yeah. something like that because it's portable and it's loud. Yeah. But chicks don't dig it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Actually, <laughs> that was my motivation. Yeah. In, in fifth grade e for <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had a friend who actually. Now I just remembered this. We used we used to go and do like open air preaching to um, to Latinos in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and he spoke Spanish fluently. Dorkiest white dude ever. His name is Troy. I'll never forget. This is like super dork, but he he loved Jesus. He had a heart for Latinos. Yeah. So we would go to these different locations that uh, that Latinos would be um, shopping at and things, and yeah. he would bring his accordion and would lead, yeah would sing. Hey, yeah. It could have. It, so it's been done. My parents led me to the accordion. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're from the the northern part of yeah. Mexico where the accordion's a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Then, so you came to faith in a charismatic church mm -hmm. and Calvary Chapel at the same time okay. because the Spanish speaking church, mm -hmm. it was a Spanish speaking church. So I, I attended there and, um, you know, got after three weeks, you know, gave my heart to the Lord and, mm. and, and, uh, and, but also that was in 1669 was okay. when I got saved. And so that was right at when Calvary Chapel was in the little, uh, what what later on became the Maranatha Village, the bookstore. You mm -hmm. know, so it was it was in the early early days. So by by my two years of high school, it was it was uh, the Calvary Chapel at Saturday night, Thursday night. Um, you know, whenever I could for the evenings. Uh, Wednesday was was youth group in the Spanish speaking church, but we but we met in English. But Sunday morning and Sunday night was 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 mm. the sp Spanish speaking church. Mm. Yeah, awesome. And I'd been there for ten years. Okay, you know. And then um, <clears throat> when I got married in seventy six, uh, my wife and I, Elsie and I, were uh, looking for a place, you know. And we moved to Yorba Linda. Okay. And so that's what you know. Um, we, uh, and, and had our children, you know, and so when our daughter was a toddler, 
uh, she's 45 now, but when she was a toddler, we started, we, you know, we need to find a place, Let's, we mm -hmm. need to find a church, you know, and we were driving into Santa Ana at the Spanish-speaking church for still, uh, but, but it was far away and stuff, so we started looking and closer to here, and I, I told John when, when I did catch up to him, I said, you've been running from me, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, it, what was happening is that we were, we were, people would tell us, hey, there's this great church meeting at El Dorado High School. And by the time we would get the energy and everything else to go, we thought, hey, wait a minute. What's, what's so cool about this church? I thought that they had this or mm -hmm. that, you know. And it wasn't, we, we, came to, we, we did that like three different times. Mm -hmm. And we came to find out <clears throat> that we were, we were following Calvary Chapel, your Belinda. Oh, wow. At all the different venues that they mm -hmm. had been. So this is prior to the vineyard. This is John Wimber's... Calvary Chapel days. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and some people don't know that, the, mm -hmm. the history of that. But John, John was... Uh, <laughs> I mean, we were Calvary Chapel, your Belinda. Mm -hmm. And then, and then there, there were... The, so uh, they were meeting at Canyon High School. Okay. And, and in the cafeteria first. And then later it grew to the gym. And when I went in there, it was like, oh, wow, this is great. And we, we, we went because it was a Calvary Chapel. Mm -hmm. So my wife and I would attend Bible studies and stuff while we were, uh, while we were dating and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the late 70s? Late, no, mid-70s. Okay, mid-70s. Mid because we got married in 70, 76. Okay, so 76, so, Yes, and we dated for two years before that. So it's 70, 74 to 76. Okay. But I had played with... I was playing with the Maranatha bands. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, so like, um, um, Tom Stipe was in a band called mm -hmm. Country Faith, and and Scott Lockwood they started a band, uh, and so when when with Chuck Butler and it was um, Country Faith, and they were contemporaries with uh, with Love Song, Children of the Day, mm -hmm. The Way, you know, and John Wickham, who's who's Phil Wickham's dad, mm -hmm. he and I used to play at at high school keg parties. Wow, you know, before we both got saved, and we all got saved around the same time. Alex McDougal, mm. Bo McDougal. Uh, and and we were we were the orange Santa Ana crowd of the where uh, and and we were a, a bit younger mm -hmm. than than uh, uh, Chuck Gerard and Tommy Coombs, but uh, but we knew we knew them we knew you know and we I mean love song they were the Beatles you know yeah, yeah. of Christian music yeah and 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 so but I was going to Cal State Fullerton I you know um, I I been asked to to fill in for different guys. Hey, you want to join our band? Da, 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 da. So Scott, um, Scotty Lockwood was the, um, was the, uh, one of the guys in country faith. So we were doing that, but when they were talking about going out on the road and doing all that stuff. So anyway, so in 70, 76, 77, my daughter was born in 78. So in 78, John was working with, um, with Maranatha music mm -hmm. at then, that's when he wrote praise song and stuff, mm -hmm. and it was wor working with them. But while and he had the church here in in your Belinda, right? So, Tom, I guess Tommy, um, Tommy calls, uh, tells John, hey, there's uh, there's this guy that plays guitar, and you might want to you know uh, meet him. He's going to your to your church. <laughs> so we get a call. We get a call from from John. And my wife thought he was a an insurance salesman. Okay. <laughs> so the first time John Wimber called you, she yeah. thought she, he was a yeah. insurance salesman. Okay. And she answers the phone, and and uh, she says, "Hello, Elsie. Uh, this this is John Wimber. Uh, how are you? Oh, fine, fine. You know, and and uh, you know, is is Eddie there? No, it's fine. He said, well, well, you know, I I know you guys have been coming to our church now. You know, and she goes." And and she froze, you know, and she comes from from uh, somebody's a God background, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor John, yeah. you know. So she, <laughs> you can call me John, you know, yeah. and, and stuff. So so anyway, so so that and he had some really sp real specific words that nobody knew anything that nobody would have known. Mm. So he he gave you prophetic words. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he said, you know, God has called you here. He's he's he, you know you're you're not here for any reason. You've 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 gotten some some resistance as far as leaving leaving, and he didn't know this. He didn't know that you know uh, that you know that 
because we did we had a little bit of a conflict in, an inner conflict mm. you know you're leaving you're leaving the spanish speaking church to go into an english speaking church and all that stuff but mm. i but i but at, so the, there was i mean i'm first generation us mm. you know first generation us mm-hmm. um and so and so um you know i i went to kindergarten speaking nothing nothing but spanish mm-hmm. right so and and always lived in the in the sun belt of California and Arizona. So so and you know so it was a conflict and so he had some specific things about that and that 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 caught our attention and mm. stuff. So so anyway, wow. so then we started yeah. So that's how you kind of so that was your introduction into Wimber. That's how I, Oh, he said, "Oh, I hear you play guitar." And that was yeah. Okay. And that and, and I said, "Yeah." And he says, "Well, you know, I um, so I started, um, uh, he, he had me come over to his house here in Yorba Linda and, and went over and, and he says, Hey, well, let, let's, uh, you know, we went over some of the songs. I didn't know what he had in mind, but later on I started playing guitar with the worship team as mm-hmm. a guitar player. And, and some of the old pictures I'm sitting down like a session guitarist mm-hmm. in the yeah. studio, right. You know, because nobody nobody stood, stood there. Uh, uh, except the worship leader, you know, Carl was leading at yeah. the time. So, so then, um, and then, and then later, um, I led worship at John's kinship okay. group. So I was, I was John's second, from what I understand, I was John's second kinship worship leader. Okay, and then, and then later. Uh, you know when when Carl went to uh, San Luis Obispo. Yeah, and I forget the dates. I don't know what dates they are and all that. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember in, my it's birthday. In your and, history. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the in the vineyard history. It, yeah, yeah. So, anyway. so that's interesting. So Wimber's uh, first contact with you is essentially to tell you his version of God loves you and I have wonderful plans for you. Yeah. He he, was, <laughs> he, he didn't he didn't let on plans, but he said you. He said, God has brought you here for a yeah, reason. Yeah. And, and that time, you know, and and we didn't know what, we didn't know why, we didn't know what was going to happen yeah. and stuff. And, and I, think that, I think that that was, yeah.